Today we are going to be looking at redox reactions. We have looked at these in the past in National 5 and the skill is the same at higher, so this will be a little bit of revision for you today. When we've looked at redox reactions in the past, we have learned that redox reactions are a combination of oxidation and reduction occurring at the same time. During redox reactions, oxidation and reduction happen at the same time. Redox reactions can be written by combining the ion-electron equations for oxidation and reduction. The animation that's on the slide just now illustrates what the text says above. So we have one thing which is an electron donor, and the electron donor gives up an electron and becomes oxidised. The electron donor gives its electron up to an electron acceptor, which is then reduced. So that is a redox reaction with oxidation and reduction occurring at the same time. In order to write redox equations for redox reactions, we have to combine ion-electron equations. And we can only combine ion electron equations when the electrons for the reduction and the oxidation are the same. So the first step in this reaction is to times these equations by a number in order to get to the same number of electrons on both sides. Our top equation here is reduction and our bottom equation is oxidation. We're going to time the oxidation ion electron equation by 2 in order to get two electrons the same as the reduction. I'm going to rewrite my equations with those changes made. So my top equation for the reduction of copper, two plus ions, I'm not changing because I don't have to times that by anything. My bottom equation I'm going to times by two. So everything in that equation gets times by two. And now you'll be able to see that I have two electrons two electrons on the left and two electrons on the right. So now I can cancel those electrons out and I'm going to write everything on the left hand side combined into a new equation at the bottom. So my copper 2 plus and my silver I'm going to combine those both together and rewrite it on one side of the arrow and on the right hand side of the arrow I'm going to combine everything on the right hand side of my oxidation and reduction equations. So this bottom equation is my new redox equation for the reduction and oxidation of copper and silver. As usual we're going to go through some questions. One's from the, uh, the pupil booklet, question 19 and 20. Pause the video, try the questions for yourself, and then join me back and we will do the solutions. Question 19 asks me to write the redox equation using the following electron, um, ion electron equations. Got one electron on the left, three electrons on the right. Need to times my top equation by three in order to get equal amounts of electrons. Going to rewrite my top equation ag 3 ag plus aqueous plus three electrons will give me three silver atoms solid my bottom equation is just being rewritten because i didn't times that by anything al solid plus al3 plus aqueous plus three electrons so now I have three electrons on my left and three electrons on my right. I can cancel those out and I can rewrite my equation. So I'm combining everything on the left, Ag plus aqueous plus Al solid and combining everything on my right, Al3 plus aqueous plus 3 Ag solid. It doesn't matter which way around you write the things on the left hand side on the right hand side as long as they're written on the right side. So that is my completed redox equation. 19b, I've got two electrons at the bottom, 
one electron at the top, sometimes in my top equation by two to get to the same number of electrons. Lithium plus, two lithium plus, plus two electrons gives me lithium solid. And for this one, I think we'll just write that this is reduction. For the oxidation reaction, so we're losing electrons at the bottom, I'm just rewriting it as is. SO3 2 minus aqueous plus H2O liquid produces SO4 2 minus aqueous plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons. Two electrons on my left, two electrons on my right. So now I can combine cancel my electrons out, cancel this one out, cancel that one out, and I'm going to combine 2 Li plus aqueous plus SO3 2 minus plus H2O liquid produces SO4 2 minus aqueous plus 2H plus aqueous. Oh, and that says finished. So make sure you're including all of your state symbols. Go back and check that you have included everything on the left. So 2Li plus SO3 2 minus H2O, SO4 2 minus, and I've missed out my lithium. That's why I went back and checked. And I've got everything on the left and everything on the right. Another thing you can do is go through and highlight and make sure you've got everything. So my lithium here, my lithium here, SO32 minus there, SO32 minus there, H2O, H2O. And on my other side, SO42 minus SO42 minus, 2H plus, 2H plus, Li and Li. Just to full proof, or you can just do it visually. For 19C, I've got two electrons here and three electrons here. So this one is a little bit trickier. To get those both to the same number, I'm going to have to times this top one by three and times the bottom one by two. So I have three Fe2 plus aqueous plus six electrons goes to three Fe solid. And down the bottom, I'm going to have 2Al solid produces 2Al3 plus aqueous plus 6 electrons. So we've got 6 electrons on the left, 6 electrons on the right. We can cancel those out and combine. 3 Fe2 plus aqueous plus 2 Al solid produces 2 Al3 plus aqueous plus 3 Fe solid. And that is my completed redox reaction equation. Question 20 says, write the ion electron equations for the oxidation and reduction reactions in the following redox reaction. So we've been given the redox equation and we have to decide which things have been oxidized and which things have been reduced. And we're going to write out the ion electron equations for oxidation and reduction. So for copper, copper is going from Cu to Cu2 plus. So copper is losing two electrons and being oxidized. Sodium is going from sodium plus to sodium metal so it is gaining an electron and becoming reduced so we'll start with the oxidation we started with copper which was solid copper became cu2 plus so it's lost two electrons for reduction We start off with sodium, 2Na+. Sodium will gain an electron, but we started off with two ions of sodium, so we need two electrons. And that will give us 2Na solid. 
I should have my aqueous in here as well and aqueous in here. So that is the oxidation and reduction ion electron equations for that redox reaction. Have a little look through. You can give yourself marks um, for the questions that you completed correctly. And if you've got any questions, you can get me on Google Classroom.